In this lecture, we will learn how to use Python for GUI automation. We can use Python code to automate keystrokes and mouse clicks to interact with programs as if we were sitting at our computer. This is known as Graphical User Interface Automation, aka GUI Automation. Python provides us with the PyAuto GUI module that we can use for GUI automation. The first step is to open up the command prompt or terminal on our computer and change directories to wherever our Python file is currently being stored. Then we will type pip install PyAuto GUI. When we hit enter, this module will begin installing on our computer. Once it finishes installing, we are ready to open up PyCharm and start writing some Python code. Let's write a program that takes control of our mouse and moves it to specified coordinates on the screen. Up at the top of the program, we will type import PyAuto GUI to import the PyAuto GUI module. Then we will have a for loop for i in range 6. Inside of here, we will move the mouse in a square. The first thing we want to do is move the mouse right 300 pixels relative to where it is. So we type pyautogui.moverel and pass in 300 as the x position, 0 as the y position, and provide a duration of 0 0.2. Then we will use the moverel function again, this time passing in an x position of 0, a y position of 300, and a duration of 0 0.2. Next we'll go another call to moverel, this time with an x position of negative 300, a y position of 0, and a duration of 0 0.2. Finally, we will have a call to move rel with an x position of 0, a y position of negative 300, and a duration of 0 0.2. When we run the code, you will notice that our mouse moves in a 300 by 300 square formation six times. Next, not only will we move the mouse, but we will do something meaningful with it. In this case, we will write a program that opens up paint on our computer, and then clicks and drags the mouse to create a picture. Up at the top of the code, we will import PyAuto GUI, subprocess and time with import statements so that we can use these modules in the program. Next we need to automate the opening of paint. Let's use subprocess.popen just like we learned how to do in the last lecture and pass in the path to the mspaint.exe file. Then we will call time.sleep and pass in a value of 4 to wait 4 seconds before the program does anything else. This is to give paint a chance to load on our computer. After that we will automate a click by calling pyautogui.click. Then we will have a distance variable that we will assign an initial value of 300. While distance is greater than zero, we will use the pyautogui modules drag rel function and pass in three arguments, distance, zero, and a duration of 0 0.2. Then we will set distance equal to distance minus five. After that, we will use the drag rel function to drag the mouse and pass in zero, distance, and a duration of 0 0.2. Then we will make another call to drag rel and pass in negative distance as the first argument, zero as the second argument, and a duration of 0 0.2 as the third argument. Then we will set distance equal to distance minus five. After that, we will use the drag rel function to drag the mouse and pass in zero, distance, and a duration of 0 0.2. Let's run the code and then manually move our mouse to the middle of the screen. After a few seconds, the paint program will open and you will notice that an image is drawn to the screen based on the code that we wrote. Pretty cool for a computer automated program. For our next example, we will write a program that will open up Google in the web browser and then type in a search term and search for it. In other words, we run the program and the program opens up Google, types in a term and searches for it all by itself. Up at the top of the code, we will import PyAuto GUI, web browser and time. Next, we will open Google by typing webbrowser.open and passing in the string www.google.com. After that, we will make the program wait for 3 seconds by calling time.sleep and passing in 3. Then we will automate a click by typing pyautogui.click. Next, we will have the program type the word Python. To automate typing in Python, we can use pyautogui's typewrite function. We will type pyautogui.typewrite and pass in the string Python. Finally, we need to hit enter to perform the search. We will use pyautogui's key down function and pass in the string enter. When we run the code, manually move the mouse to the center of the screen and watch as the program opens up Google in the web browser, types in the word Python, and then performs the Google search. Great work, you just used Python to write programs for GUI automation of the keyboard and mouse. In the next lecture, we will look at a recap of what we learned in this section of the course.